Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another Game Pass King game with Somerville. Or Somerville, or Somerville, whatever. This was developed and published by Jump Ship with some of the people that worked on the classics of Limbo and Inside. You'll notice the familiarity in gameplay anyway. This would usually cost you around £22.99, but it's free on Game Pass as I said right now. So we play as, I don't know, he kind of looks like an Alan if this was set in the 80s or something. Uh, but as a uh, co cosy little family man until certain doom and destruction rains down and the S, the H and the IT starts to hit the fan. So we have to go on this mega adventure to make our family whole again. So let's go. So as for achievements, there's only 11 in the game. Now you're going to get a few easy miscellaneous ones. There's one for collecting 10 orbs. Plus we are going to get 5 achievements tied to the endings. Don't worry though, we can get one ending, immediately re reload the checkpoint and go again. But all in all, you'll be looking at roughly around just over between two to two and a half hours. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And, as I just said earlier, you will definitely notice the familiar familiarity. Yeah, that's right, right? The familiarity between, um, obviously, Limbo and Inside. It's, uh, it's a brilliant game, really good game. There is no dialogue, though, just like the previous two games as well. So, um, yeah, it's all good, though. Me uh, game mechanics, very simple. This acts more as a puzzle uh, type game. It's sort of a puzzle type game rather than a platformer. Um, but it's pretty, and it's got a little bit of stealth in there and stuff like that as well. So a little bit of stealth, a little bit of puzzle. It's all good. But for the first couple of minutes here, all we're going to be doing is watching an unskippable cutscene. So, watch the eye. <laughs> Don't you do anything. Don't you diddly do anything. God's watching. Drive, drive, drive you baby. Drive your car right. Do, do, do. So then, here are the family. Um, I'm not going to uh, set the names as I did in the 80s. Rather, we are going to be called <laughs> the um, 
And I'm sorry if this does offend anyone, okay? But it's just funny because um, you always see these types of names. So we're going to be called... The man's going to be called Jaden. The woman's going to be called Brayden. And the little boy's going to be called Okay then. Okay then. So, yeah, so Jaden, Brayden, and Okay then. And again, I'm sorry if that offends anyone or anything. But they're nice names separately. But you always seem to have those types of names with about four or five kids. And they've all got the similar names with them on the end. Uh, but anyway, little Okay Den is going to wake up in just a minute while Jaden and Brayden take a little neighbor. Some weird spooky stuff's going on right there. So, just wanted to see if you could pet the dog and... Hooray! There is nothing wrong with petting the dog. You, I, I love it when video games make it so you can pet the dog. Anyway, so as a little okay then, what we're going to do is head to the left. You can see a little lit up room. So we're going to head to the left and we are going to grab a little fox light. Uh, it's fairly obvious what it's going to be right on the desk. There it is. So we're going to press the A button. And again, in terms of like um, movement and uh, everything like that, obviously left stick to move. We're going to be pressing the A button to interact with things. You cannot sprint or run or jog or anything in this game. If I've got one gripe about this game as we start heading to the right, it's that the character, Jaden, <laughs> moves extremely slow. Um, but we'll get more into that later. So we'll automatically drop the light. What we're going to do is press the A button and then the left stick to move the bag and get a little item down for us to climb on. Sometimes it can be uh, kind of finicky where you think you'd have to pull, pull it straight down, the left stick, but you'd actually have to pull, you know, wiggle it sort of left and right and st yeah so it's kind of finicky but we'll get into that in just a bit so somehow uh Jaden and Brayden are not hearing okay then in the kitchen and going nuts and smashing bits up so we're going to pull out these two drawers here so they'll be the first one and they'll be the second one again it's pressing the a button and obviously left stick to move anything out and we'll be doing that a lot through the game as well so holding the a button and then you you know pressing the left stick in whichever which way so getting up going past all the butcher knives and you know everything completely dangerous and we're gonna open up the window and fall to our mega doom oh straight in the bin yeah 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 and that's where some toddlers <laughs> i shouldn't say it that is where some toddlers <laughs> should be uh, i'm just joking all kids are great none of them are douchebags or anything um <laughs> I am just joking. I shouldn't be harsh to kids. Kids, kids are pretty cool. And I'll tell you what, we are messing up their future, actually. So uh, I'll, we'll give them that, what with global warming and all. So, um, little Brayden then. Brayden goes and gets okay then. And Jaden wakes up. And we're going to get our first achievement immediately here. So head back into the right, into the kitchen. And then what we're going to do is just close the window and close both drawers to get the world's best dad achievement. And if that's all it takes, then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've won plenty of... No, I haven't actually, no. No, I'm too lazy for that. So the achievement will unlock, so you can open up the basement door, but not go through it yet. What we're going to do is head all the way left and head outside. And I'm not being funny, but this game is kind of unrealistic. So again, it, pressing the A button, left stick to the right. And you just need to interact with the dog... Uh, house. Dog house, that's what we're after, on the left. As I say, this game's unrealistic, because... Or if it's just me, if we're all taking a cheeky nap, the dog will automatically get the ball, by the way. Uh, so we can just head into the house and all the way to the basement. But if I'm taking a nap with my kid, I'm not going to want to give it a bath. I'm just going to let I'm just gonna let my kid smell until the morning, at least. And uh, apparently these guys are just like, yeah, right, we're up. We're doing stuff. Nah, nah. Unless that is just women. Women have this superpower and mega energy from absolutely nowhere. And men... Or if it's just me, just lazy as shit. So anyway, grabbing the big, massive dog bag. <laughs> Jaden's arms looks like they're about to pop off. And then as soon as we get here... Oh, now the S to the H to the I to the T is going to start hitting the A, old F to the A to the N. N. So head outside, and we're just going to walk towards this little monument thing for a little scene again.
And now we're like, oh shit, son. So we're going to run back inside. Run back inside, head all the way into the basement. And we are just going to hide under there for a little... Oh, in fact, no, sorry. We're not going into the basement just yet. What we're actually going to do first is grab the bag to the right. Sorry, I did get a little ahead of myself then. Uh, press the A button there to grab the bag to the right. Start heading outside and towards the car. And, of course, everything will be okay. And that's the game finished. And as it turns out then, no, that's not game finished. Uh, we've got a few hours left yet in that. So now we're going to head back into the house, go to the right, head down into the basement, and we're going to hide for a little bit until all these spooky... Um... Oh, I mean, it's a nice house as well. What a disappointment. God damn aliens. It's like a scene from Battle Los Angeles. So, this isn't ominous at all. Of course, if a random alien reaches out for your hand, you're going to press the A button there to go into it. And then this scene is going to happen. And then this is going to happen. Kablamo! Because again, if that was me, I'd be running in the opposite bloody direction. And that's it then. We have succumbed to our electrical arm or something. But no, these are the main mechanics of the game. So you get, you can press the left trigger button a couple of times here to sort of wake yourself up. And the dog's going to be like, bruh. Oh, I forgot about the dog's name. What about uh, uh, Garden will do? Yep, Garden's good. Uh, so Garden the dog. <laughs> garden the dog. So we are breathing heavily because, of course, we were dead and now we're alive thanks to our... Weird new ability of electric arm. Unexplained how we've got it, but we have that anyway. So what this does then, basically what you're going to see a lot throughout the game. Oh, oh, by the way, we're completely injured throughout the majority of the game. That's why we walk slow as hell. Uh, we're going to press the A button and uh, put the left stick to the right to just move this out of the way. Now this lamp will fall. What you need to do is press the A button to hold the lamp. And then the left trigger to get rid of these... What? What looks like bricks, we're just going to call them goo or, you know, whatever for the game. But that turns it into sort of a puddle of water, it looks like. And again, that's what we're going to be doing for the majority of the game. In fact, all of it. So, uh, press the A button here to push this one forward. Grab the lamp here on the right-hand side. Again, with the A button, it'll only ever be with the A button. Walk forward slightly, uh, but w pressing the left trigger as well. That's going to get rid of some of these. You can keep pulling, that's fine. And just get rid of the rest of the goo here on the left-hand side. Job done. And that will enable us there to push over the wardrobe and climb up and wonder what in the actual goddamn titty nutbags has just gone on. So, as we make our way out then, start heading down towards the gate. And, uh, yeah, this is... Uh, and to be honest, I'd be one of the first ones to die, to be honest. I'm so lazy, I just... I can't be arsed, I just let the aliens have me, to be honest. Whatever you're going to do. Now, see this electrical box? Again, you can press the left trigger right on it. And that will interact with the light, getting rid of the goo. Turning it into goo gloopy, gloopy water. So, for the next sort of minute or so, we are just going to start heading towards the left. You're going to see these little orb balls. Um... They've obviously come down from the sky on a, from a weird alien planet as we press the right trigger and the left stick to open up these gates. Um, but yeah, these orbs are very friendly and they're more than happy to help us out. So at least someone's on our side since uh, Braden and Okaden have disappeared. 
no, they just left us because he thought we was dead. No. So yeah, just keep heading left for the moment. So the orbs are automatically going to help us out here, so you don't actually have to go up to them and ask them and be like, Hey, random weird balls, uh, fancy helping me out? Nope, they do, do that automatically. Press the left trigger here on the electric box, and as you can see the distance, that is going to fling this piece of whatever that is down, and then we're good to go. So again, you're lighting up the way, but no, we should be good. So head up slightly, and there's like a little, I don't know, a little mound or a little hill or something you, just, you can just climb up to the left. There we go. So just keep heading now to the left on the main path for just a bit more. And now we're going to be coming up to our first collectibles. Now what we're going to do then is jump over the fence. We're going to leave little garden, <laughs> garden, garden everything else. Uh, we'll just leave him. We will be back. We'll be back. Head underneath this branch. You're going to uh, go under it automatically. But instead of going left, what you're going to do is head to the right here. And you can see this hay bale that we need to get rid of. Press the A button and then up on the left stick, of course. Ugh, the strength this bro has is going to be absolutely intense. And then you're going to see these orbs just chilling here. And that will be the first out of ten collectibles. Now, the achievement does track as well. So if you want to, just obviously have a look at the achievements and uh, make sure that it's tracked. So you should already, of course, be on 10%. So after that, then head out and head to the left. And like I said, if I've got one gripe about this game, man, this dude moves slower than an absolute deceased person at its own funeral. Yeah, very, very slow. Uh, we're sort of heading up. You can go down into the water as well, but obviously that slows you down for a literal second. But yes, a lot of the time in this game, he is walking, injured. And you know what? After a while, it kind of gets annoying. Like, come on, couldn't you just jog a little faster? No. So head straight down then. And there we go. Blop. Okay then, so after a little bit of a while of just walking left, uh, you've probably seen the big scanning UFO dude right in the background. Now, sometimes he will be trying to chase us and follow us, so we do need to pick a hiding spot, but they're fairly obvious uh, where they are. Uh, so, and th well, this is going to be the first sort of little chase scene. So as we drop down here, again, there's no way that you can sprint or anything like that, so you just got to walk as fast as uh, old Jaden will allow you. So keep heading to the left, up. Don't go around the log, you just waste precious time. Head onto the stones to again stop, uh, you know, just keep it up fast. And you can see this little sort of TP tent thing on the right hand side. All you're going to do is automatically just go straight in there and wait a few seconds for the angry UFO. Like, bruh, come on, what do we do to you? You come down here. It's, it's, Earth sucks. Everything sucks on this planet. Why are you coming down here trying to destroy it? It already looks half destroyed anyway. Um. <laughs> You know, we got protesters blocking the roads and gluing their hands to everything and all types of crap going on. So, when he's done anyway, we can just uh, immediately head out. 
Obviously not saying that protesters, um, that's the only thing wrong with the Earth. There is about 90% of things that are wrong with this uh, <laughs> this planet. So I don't know why aliens want to come down. Right, first puzzle, first type of puzzle here. What we're going to do is grab this, move the light up again with the left stick, and then press the left trigger, and then put the left trigger all the way down. If you'd done it at the bottom, the, well, the piece on top would have crushed you dead. So that is why we move it, the light up to the top first, and then press the left trigger. So what we're going to do then is just head into this ominous looking, I mean, that looks like a very happy mouth. <coughs> Uh, but it's not a mouth, luckily. It's just a spaceship or something that's been destroyed, so we're all good with that. Just keep heading forward into the little pit of water. And then climb up the log in front of you and obviously head to the left, since that's where the majority of the game is headed. And time to grab our second collectible here. So Joe, just uh, keep walking to the left here. And then what you're going to see when we go up, you can see this. What, oh, it looks like an obvious secret path, really, doesn't it? So we just need to crawl underneath this log. And this is where the second collectible is. So again, now every time you see the collectibles, the orbs will be doing something random. And they'll start flashing colors and stuff like that. So again, just make sure that you've got the extra 10% added onto your achievement tracker before heading on. And of course, where we're going is down and then to the left. Oh, incredible. Right then, so on to another puzzle then. You can just go around the gate. I didn't bother opening it. I don't, don't even know if you can. But we are going to pull the rubber ring buoy of safety. And then what the, what's going to happen is, then the UFO Big Bro scanner is going to jump down. So what we're going to do then is we're going to head to the sort of front part of the boat. Press the A button and then start pulling it to the left. Now you should be pretty, uh, pretty squared away in its shadow. So... Don't worry about being caught or anything, as long as you're pretty much at the front of the boat, you'll be fair, just fine. Drag that boy to the left. So now we're coming up to a bit of a weird puzzle. Um... There's only one way to do it, but it, it, it it's kind of finicky. So in terms of these balls here, they will only follow you if you've got that water that you just came out of. So what we need to do is go to the left here. See this wishing well? Yes, you see it. And there's going to be a valve on it. So what we need to do is uh, pull the valve all the way up until the bucket appears. There's going to be water in it, but don't worry about it. And you don't actually need this particular water or anything. So grab it. Head to the left. Now, what you need to do is put your bucket when you just get into the sort of gooey water stuff. You can, don't go too far. So put it just as you enter. Put it just there. So the bucket will be full. So what we need to do is the orbs are going to go back to the right. But hopefully, when we pull this valve and start pulling the rope back towards us, as you can see, there's going to be water dripping. And hopefully it'll get enough over to more or less our side. And then the orbs will basically put the goo out in the top right hand corner. So they almost, <laughs> they almost didn't. That, that part honestly took me about four or five times just because they were taking the piss and not helping me. Um, but that is how you do that. So put the bucket just as you get to the gooey water and then you should be fine. So heading on then, little bits of creepy stuff going on. But we're just going to head to the left of course. Gosh, I... I... Ugh, the left. Too much left. 
I prefer the left to the right, but uh, hey, that's for another day. So do some crawling, 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 and still wondering what happened to Brayden and Garden. Okay, then. So we're going to be coming up to another missable achievement here. Uh, what we're going to do then is to go straight through the gate. And as we start making our way up, you can probably just see in the distance in the top left hand corner there, there was a guy running away, but there is a bench for us that we are going to sit on and take it all in. We literally died or something and then we just got this mega electric shock arm for some reason. That would be enough to knock anyone out to be honest though, wouldn't it? Although... Man, imagine having a big electric shock arm. That would be incredible. So keep heading up. So the main story would want to take you down the path to the left. But we're just going to sit our ass on the bench here. Um, and you just wait until the achievement unlocks. And that's it. It should take about 10 to 15 seconds. Take a, took a short rest? Bloody hell, with what's going on, I'll be taking a long rest. Jesus Christ. Anyway, head down the path and just keep on going. There's, again, a uh, little old Jaden here. I mean, he's got the legs to sprint like a, a runner or run like a marathon runner, but, um, man, Brosie does not use them. Lazy git. So then, we have got a few more collectibles to grab in this level, plus a missable achievement we're going to get very, very soon. So, uh, we just went down the linear path. We're going to pull this card down. Don't worry, nobody is going to come and shoot you squand of balls as we seen the guy. Random stalker guy. Well, that's nice. I haven't had a stalker for a while. Push the car door out of the way like the big man that you are and open up the car door, the van door. Head on through. And then what we're going to do... Oh, I feel all giddy now. I got a little stalker. As long as he doesn't, you know, you know, tear my eye socket out and do all that extra weird stalky stuff, then we're all good. Stalk away, stalk away, everyone. As long as you're good stalkers, not weird ones. Uh, so drop, drop down here. Uh, our little dog garden is not going to follow us. But what we're going to do is just head to the left into the water. Jump out here the other side. It's going to be like a little lamppost that you can see. There it is, just on the left. So stay around this area. As soon as we can turn around, we're going to do that. So turn around, head back to the right, and he will be gone. But the achievement, yeah, boy, <coughs> will unlock. I don't know what that last noise was. Dogs, because they stink like absolute death when they take a little farty fart. Right, so once the achievement has unlocked, we can just head to the left. We're also going to be grabbing the next collectible as well, pretty much straight away. So as we head to the left, again, it's so frustrating that you can't even slightly jog a little. Um, but in the background, it's going to be a red car. Very, very obvious. Just past this tent here. There it is. So all you need to do is go up to the car, open it up again by pressing the A button and left stick up. And that is collectible number three. Job done, mate. Job done. Right, so heading to the left, of course, as usual. We're going to jump over this little porter party, as it were. The old urinal cake stand. The old piss tent. And we're going to head in through the regular tent right here. So heading out to the other side, just basically keep following the path up. The car is going to go, and it's going to get smashed the hell up. Well, isn't that unlucky? 
so we'll just head to the left. We'll avoid that. We'll let them uh, do all that. Uh, press the left trigger here on the electric box to get rid of the gooey brick wall. And just head into the left tent here, but stay here while the UFO dude scans the crap out of you. And misses. <laughs> you lose. So, head out. Obviously, to the left, there's only really one way to go. And come into this next puzzle area. So, what we got to do then is grab this light and head around to the right. So, because if you try going to the left, it's... It's a very obvious one, and we'll press the left trigger, of course, to get rid of this gooey brick wall. I mean, it's a fairly obvious one, but it, it, it caught me out the first time. I, was, I was, immediately just went to the left, wondering why it wouldn't reach. That's because you had to go around, because it was stuck. So we can just keep heading to the left. Um, we can actually let this one go now by pressing the Y button. And grab this next light, and then use the... And obviously press the left trigger, so use your blue power to get rid of all the glue, gooey brick wall. I'll just call it goo from now on, just to make it a lot easier. Heading up here, pulling the lever, pulling it uh, towards you. There we go, and that'll grab that one. So now we can go ahead and grab that same light that we just had. And again, another neat little feature in this game is, a very simple one, is if you need a light, you can just keep walking to pull it, and then it breaks. Drop ton. That's what we like, that's what we like. So we're heading up, obviously, with the lamp here. Going to the left and getting rid of these gooey brick walls. Right there, that gets rid of the ladder. We're also going to be coming up to another missable achievement right here. Um, and it involves, again, a little bit of a chase. But it's not too bad. The chases are, you know, very easy enough. They are fairly easy. One or two times you might get caught and die. But yeah, it's fine, it's fine. So, heading to the left, of course... Uh, Broski's going to be all pissed off and start making us... Oh, in fact, no, we're not at that part yet. We've just got one little thing to do here. So we're going to turn on the generator. I do apologise. I'm getting ahead of myself here, aren't I? So pull the generator three times until the um, machine on the right is on. We're going to pick up the battery electrical zazas, put it in the car, and press the left trigger here on the generator again, and that will light up the way for us. Very easy. But again, some of these puzzles can easily... If you think something's obvious, it's actually not. So we're going to head up and here to the left. And this is where stuff's going to start going uh, to happen. So we're going to head to the left. Make sure to, to stay in the shadows as much as you can. If you get caught in the light, you will just die. But the checkpoints are very, very, very generous in the game. I should tell you that. Uh, make sure to climb over the car here. For some reason, I decided to climb over the brick walls, which we can't actually interact with or climb over. So make sure to climb over the car. Yeah, that'll do it before I realize my mistake. And what we're going to do is immediately, you can already see the uh, piss tent open, the porta potty. So immediately go in there, because of course we need to hide anyway. So jump straight in, and then all you need to do is just wait in here until the achievement unlocks. It may take around a minute or so to unlock, so, you know, just... Take a dump, you might as well just... <laughs> you haven't had time to shit yourself so far, so now is the perfect opportunity. And now you should get the Stuck on the John achievement. Now there's a bunch of guys called John out there who really does not like that term. And who <laughs> are really looking pissed off. Stuck on the what? Stuck on me? Okay. Um, wait, what's stuck on me? Ah, damn it. So anyway, head it up. Don't worry about the noise in the background. It's not going to chase you. We are coming up to another collectible as well. Immediately, just as we pass these two lorries. So head past. Go to the right. And then what you're going to see is this little orb just chilling around. Kind of looks like a cow or something just roaming around by itself. Move this pla uh, pallet out of the way. Go inside, and that's going to be the next orb collectible done. So that should be number four, I believe, now, out of ten. So, when that happens, then again, have a double check if you want, just to make sure that it has gone on. There we go. Yes, indeedy, four out of ten, Aroni. So, very simple. All we're going to do here is pull the bin here to the right-hand side. For some reason, I decided to try and pull it to the left. 
and that's just not going to work. You need to pull this bin to the right in order to get through. We'll try that again, shall we? Okay, so here's our first sort of stealth, it's sort of stealth session, it's not really, it's just trying not to get caught. So what we're going to do here, we're going to stand still, right, you can see, obviously see the red light glowing, you're not obviously want to get caught in that, so stay here by the shadow, as soon as he turns to the left, move to the left to go to the next one, wait here until he turns to the right, and then move on. Now this next part may take a few tries again, it took me only once to be fair, but it may take a couple of tries, really depends on where you're standing. But what you're going to do, you can see the umbrellas, and as you can see when the big light appears, you can see a little shadow. Um, so that's what we're going to do. As he goes away, head straight, but stand on this sort of wooden walkway. So stand right here, just on this wooden walkway. And as you can see, we're going to go to the next umbrella, to the next wooden walkway, but just a little bit left of that. So... Head to the next wooden walkway here and just to the left. You can probably just see a little bit of a shadow on the ground uh, of an indicator of where to stand. But standing just to the left of this wooden walkway, that should get you gone. As soon as he nips off, immediately head to the left. And again, this is somewhere you'd think he'd be um, running a lot faster than what he's doing. To interact with this generator here, again, pull it three times. You should be okay. You will not get caught. So pull. Pull, Jaden. Pull. Pull the pecker. And when it has gone away, immediately get up the stairs. Again, you know, Brosie takes his time for some particular reason. And then we can just drop down to the left here. But we're still not out of the woods just yet. I love the way he's walking as well with his hands like, I'm dainty. So wait until the light flashes off to the right. Huh. I'm a rhymer and I didn't know it, poet. Or something like that. Uh, you, I, I would highly advise to just stay here for just a moment. Obviously, what we have to do is just move the bin over to the right and sneak our way through. We are almost at the end of it, though. So move the bin. And then again, I advise not going all the way through just yet. Stand here, just in the middle of the gap. Because perfectly, just, just a perfect little shadow. Everywhere else is full of light, but we stood in the perfect shadow. So we can now head through and keep on going. So now that is the end of that particular spooky section so we're going to pick up this pole and obviously press the left trigger that is obviously going to get rid of all of these bits of bri bricky gooey wall and then what we're going to do is put the pole as close as you can to the wall and the ladder so put it literally as close as you can right up against the wall and then we again press the button to hold it and then left trigger sorry i keep uh, forgetting which one it is Left trigger, that should get rid of the little bit of goo here at the top in order for us to get through. We're also going to be coming up to another missable achievement and another collectible shortly. So just keep heading up. This is the linear path. And then when we see the ladder, as you can see, also it is kind of very easy to fall off these little platforming sections. So worry about that. Head up the ladder. And then what we need to do, so for the story progression, we've got to pull this lever down anyway, but make sure to hit the left trigger to turn the stage blue. So pull the lever down, press the left trigger to turn it blue, keep holding it for a few seconds, and then the kind of blue achievement will unlock. Kind of blue, dabba dee dabba die. That was the ultimate late 90s song, that one. Dabba dee dabba die. Now, if you didn't just get that achievement, you would have to use the electric box to get rid of this goo. That's why I was doing that, just to show you. Otherwise, we can just head on this linear path and slide your ass down. Broke my ankles, damn it. Right, head to the left, and you can already see this one piss tent um, flopping about. Yeah, flopping about. Open it up, and this is going to be the fifth collectible here. Now, you think they would follow you and, you know, make friends and do all that, but they don't. They're actually like, hey, good luck. Try not to die out there. Now, cheers to you too, you big ball sacks of nothingness. Right, so head to the big stage here. You can, all, you can see the obvious looking camera here on the right. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag this one to the left. 
Drag it, drag it, drag it, dragon all day long. Dragging these balls across your face. Uh, interact with the lever here on the left. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. So interact that with the left, and then press the left trigger on it as well. That will grab this plug down for us. So grab the plug, post it in. You can just press the white button when you're next to the plug. You should do it automatically. And then push the camera to the right ever so slightly until you see the light. Press the left trigger, and that will move the way, move the goo for us, as it were. Right, so now what we're going to do then is head up onto the stage. Shame, because those drums look like, they look like fantastic. That's a fantastic drum set. And I haven't played drums for many a year now. Uh, so we are going to head up onto the main stage, interact with this valve here to open up the door. Yes, I used to be a drummer, and I used to be in a band too. Am I attractive yet? I'm a loser with no job, I make YouTube video guides, and I was in a band. The ultimate, I, I'm just the ultimate catch, you know? So grab the plug from in here anyway. That's a lie, by the way. Um, um, so grab the plug, put it into this socket here on the right-hand side. And now we can interact with the elevator to go up. So obviously, you're going to be pushing up to go up. Uh, by the way, I'm not saying um, anyone's a loser who makes YouTube video guides, by the way. YouTube video guide makers are the most handsome bar stools I know. And the most beautiful ones as well. There's plenty of lady guide makers out there as well. So... We're all fit. Anyway, uh, we're just going to keep heading up. And then we're going to drop down onto this toy stagecraft UFO thing. And then all you're going to do is just release all four levers. Don't worry. Don't think you can fall off. Just release all four of the levers until, you know, you fall. Oh. Uh. Uh. Ah! Oh, in fact, all three then. So three will do. Right, uh, we can't actually use this just yet, so what we're going to do is grab the plug here from the right-hand side. Pull it back out. Yeah, you don't need that anymore. And then we're just going to plug it into the UFO itself. And now we can drop in, press the left trigger to start walking forward. And that's all we're going to do to keep walking forward is just pressing the left trigger. But be aware, we are going to be coming up to a being chased scene. Oh, I look violent as well. But we ain't got no time to be injured and cry and feel sorry for ourselves. Because, girl, we gotta run. So run towards the screen. And there's there's nothing much here. All you're gonna do is just keep running. Don't stop for anything. And just head to the left. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else really going on. Thankfully, there was some random uh, fallout-looking armor dude uh, just to, you know, someone from the Enclave just helping us out there. So appreciate that, buddy. To so try and lift up, but no, now you can pull this big, you can pull and push big massive things, but apparently you can't deadlift up a door. Weak stuff, bro. Weak sauce, yo. Uh, so just keep heading then to the left, and just for the next few moments or so, you're going to try and lift up a couple of doors. Our Enclave from Fallout Soldier will help us out. Until we basically fall and almost die. Hooray! Spoiler alert. We almost die.
I mean, it wasn't really a spoiler. You've already played a good chunk of this game already to know exactly what the hell's going on. So, not a lot going in here, or going on in here. All we're going to be doing is following the linear path down. So, follow the linear path down. And again, this is where it gets extra slow. Like I said, you've seen dead people at their own funerals move faster than this. And they're dead. Jesus Christ. Like, come on, just that one little button. One little button, just a slightly jog. If some kind of aliens are after you, you're going to be jogging a lot faster than this. Uh, but keep heading down anyway. Ah, there's our old Enclave soldier pal. Hey, buddy, you're looking a bit trapped. So press up on the left stick with the A button, of course. That would help him. Press the A button to grab his hand. And we're about to get a new ability. Oh, shocking. Ooh, this is quite the intriguing development, isn't it? So, head up, and then basically all we're going to do is keep heading to the right until we're into a sort of dead-end room or so. So just keep heading to the right for now. You're going to go a cup over a couple of these, and you're going to end up there. So then just go ahead and pull off the plank of life, plank, done. And then what you're going to grab, I mean, again, see, dude is stronger than the world's strongest man. So what we need, what we can do now, you can hold the right trigger and then release it and that will harden up the water. Now, what I highly advise is to not be in the water when you're doing that, because obviously, as you can see, you can get stuck. So just before you go into the water, press and hold the right trigger to harden up any liquid. And, uh, yeah, so that is our ticket out of here. And again, thanks to some random enclave soldier who has just died for our sake. Thanks, buddy. In heaven, I owe you a beer. Um, but, yeah, he's just given us this new ability, apparently. So we're going to head down and start heading back up the way we came. But, obviously, you can't get up it just yet. So, again, press, hold the right trigger for a, for a second or two and then let go. Harden up the way. You know, try not to dive in and fall, of course. We can also climb any surfaces here with the hardened stuff. So if there's any water, goop, uh, dripping down the walls, we can actually harden it up with the right trigger, of course, and head up. So head up now to the ladder and harden up the way on the left-hand side. Job done. We're out of here. Itch. So we're about to go for a little swim, so as soon as you drop down then, hold the left trigger, that's what we're going to need to do to get through this swimming section. So dive straight down, pressing and holding the left trigger to keep going down, and we're going to head to the left. Keep heading to the left, and then in just a little bit you're going to see a little pocket of air that we can cheeky get a little breath out of. But just keep your finger on the left trigger again, just in case you're coming up to any goopy goop bits. Here is the air pocket, by the way. So make sure to get catch a nice little breath. 
that that is how we all breathe when we almost drown. Arr! Apparently, sound more like a dying seal. Anyway, after the air pocket, keep heading to the left and then eventually we will reach the end. Ignore what I'm doing here, just keep heading to the left, that is how you get out of the water. For some reason I'm trying everything else apart from going to the left. Ah, there we go, right, so, we made it. Uh, not so much a puzzle, just a thing that we gotta do, and all you gotta do is press the left trigger, get rid of all the goopy bits, and start heading all the way up. So it's kinda like uh, just jumping up a couple of platforms and heading up the side, but you gotta get rid of all these gloopy bits first. Okay then, so that is plenty of getting rid of all the goop. Uh, you cannot climb any higher, so what we're going to do is just drop all the way back down now. And as you can see, the ladder on the, the, ladder on the left hand side of the screen is now available for us to climb up. Bam! And of course you can harden the way, obviously it's better to harden the way, that's what we need to do. So harden the way, climb up, and then climb up the ladder directly in front of us. We're also going to be coming up to uh, collectible number 6, I believe, right now. So, once we climb the ladder, head to the left, and then it's going to pan sort of more towards uh, 2D sort of section. There we go, so we're going to head to the left, and then there we go. So we're going to head through this little gap right here, so do not ignore the gap, go through the gap, head to the left, and you're going to see this next orb collectible right there. So that will be, yes, number 6, I believe, out of 10. There it is, so number I was right, <laughs> I'm doubting my own abilities right there. So, keep heading to the left for the time being. And then what we're going to do, we're going to climb the ladder and then head to the left. If you climb up the next ladder, there's going to be an enemy there, but he won't actually go away or anything. And he's going to appear here anyway, so head to the left as you climb up the first ladder. Once we jump off the log, of course, grab the plank. I don't think the enemy's after you at this point, which is why I hadn't said anything. Otherwise, I would have said, run, forest, run. Do some creepy crawling. So we're going to head up the ladder. Again, all the paths are pretty much extremely linear in this game. It's just the orbs and the collectibles that are a bit off the beaten path, as it were. So just keep on climbing up, heading up the ladders for now. Try not to die. Pull the crap out of this plank, grab the mine, drag it uh, behind you a little bit, and then what you're going to do is go to the other side and just push the mine off, and go for a little deep dive, swimming, muff dive, deep dive. Dive, dip, dick, ditch, and dodge. Ditch. Okay, 
Okay, there we go. Right, so straight in, we're heading to the left. And again, I'm just sp uh, just pressing the right trigger and left trigger because it looks cute. Time for another cheeky little puzzle. So, interact with the valve here. And then what you're gonna do then is pull it all the way down by pressing the left trigger while pressing the left trigger. Put it about halfway in and then press the right trigger while you're still holding the valve to harden it up. And then pull it all the way back up and that gets us, ta-da, a little platform path. Good job, good job. So, we can now climb the little platform path and keep on. And so for this next bit then, simply pull the minecart out of the way, and then just keep heading to the left. And we're coming up to another water bit. Uh, now this is uh, pretty easy. As we pull up the box here, we're going to grab a flare. And we're going to press the left trigger. And eventually some water is going to start rising. Now don't worry, it, it's not that you've got to keep up or anything like that. You'll stay always stay on top of the water. You are in control of you swimming. Um, but there's one point where there's going to be a few rocks. So what you're going to do is you just keep pressing the left trigger for the time being to get rid of the gloopy gloop ahead. Now, as you'll be able to see, I was being very, very tentative. Um, but what you got to do then is obviously just press the left trigger enough in order for the rocks to start falling, and then you've just got to dive down and head to the left. So, but again, I was being very careful, very tentative, because obviously, you know, you don't want to die. It takes a, it's a bit of an inconvenience dying, isn't it, again? So uh, that's why I'm sort of taking my time with it here. Uh, but that's all you got to do then. So as soon as the rocks start falling... Immediately dive down and head to the left. Uh. Ah, shit, 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 okay, run to the left, run to the left. And there we go then. So, no death for us today. We have avoided death for yet another, I mean, give it about 20 minutes or so. Right, so what we can do here then. Now, the obvious path is to the left, but there is a collectible here on the right-hand side. So as we get up, make sure to press the left trigger to get rid of the gloop above as well. And then what we can do, because as you can see, with a cheeky little edit, I just uh, shortened it a little bit more. Harden up the pathway, head to the right for another collectible before heading to the left.
so harden it up again, son. Viagra style. Um, I can't believe it took me that long to make a joke. Um, so, uh, harden yourself up. you got to impress everyone with that hardener of yours. Then we can head to the left. And it's just a little bit of... Um, basically, you can just see on the walls the directions that we need to go if you think you're stuck. So here, we are going to head up. And then as you'll be able to see on the wall, it's going to tell us to go left. There it is. So it's telling us left. Now, these camera angles are, you know, they're pretty unique. They're spectacular. But they can be frustrating sometimes as well. Uh, so just keep heading to the left uh, for the time being. Climbing up these rocks, dropping down. And, of course, keeping on heading to, you guessed it, the la 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 left Right, so when we get here, make sure to turn the lever on we've just walked past. You you can't you can do it later on if you want, but you need to turn that lever on at the beginning anyway. Uh, you don't see me do it because there was a little bit of an edit because I messed up, messed up bad. Um, but obviously I'll tell you that the le that's the lever you need to choose. So heading to the left anyway, and we're gonna now climb up this little ladder. And there's going to be another collectible here at the end of this part as well. So, climb up the ladder, interact with the generator again a couple of times. Should normally be about three times, because that's how things work. You try and stick a USB cable in, it takes three times to do that somehow. Pulling the plank off then. Go to the generator, press the left trigger again while holding it. That's going to drop off this big part, which basically frees up the minecart for us. And that, my boys and girls, is what we want in life. Everyone just wants a free minecart, don't they? So, head down, and obviously go to the right, as you can see, it's all different, we're all good, we just need to head to the right, grab the minecart. No, it's minecart, no, it's minecart, nine, it's nine cart, which apparently means no cart in Germany, or no kartenschnagen fragen. Did I just speak German? I don't know. Anyway, grab the, I'm so sorry, Germany, please love me, I haven't grabbed the Minecraft. Minecraft, the minecart, go to the right here, and as you can see, this little ball, little cheeky ball sack hanging in the air doing nothing. We're going to come back to that in just a bit, um, but you need to uh, put it all the way to the right to get this goopy bit of water in there. Again, make sure that you have turned the lever on. It's the one on the left-hand side of the screen right now, just in case you were wondering. So after you get the water, put it just underneath the old cheeky juicy nut sack, put the valve down. And then all you're going to do is press the left trigger, eventually, on this one. Oh, the right trigger, sorry. The right trigger to harden it up. That's what I was going at. And then you're just going to push the mine cart down to the right. Obviously, make sure that it is hard by interacting with the lever. And that's how you do that little puzzle. Right, so as we uh, start heading forwards, you're going to see a ladder on the left-hand side. We're not going to climb up that ladder just yet. We do want a collectible. By the way, if you do end up missing a collectible or any missable achievements, there are plenty of sub-checkpoints in these chapters. So you can easily uh, get to whatever it is that you're missing. So keep going straight to find the next orb collectible. And then just turn back on yourself and head back up the ladder. So, nice, easy little puzzles coming up then. Man, this dude's been holding his his spleen for the entirety of the game so far. Doing well, pal. Doing well, old Jaden Jaden. I bet, you be I bet you're missing Brayden and O'Kaden, okay, aren't you? So, pulling on the lever then, go towards the back and interact with this uh, switch right here to pull out the mine cart. Drag it down, and then there's going to be a little lever on the right-hand side that we're going to pull. So, pull this to the left, and then drag the mine cart on. Pull the lever back to the right. 
And then we can pull the minecart all the way to the left. Yes, this is a minecart section. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, it's true. <laughs> so, just heading up the stairs then. Now we can, uh, should be able to climb on the rocks here and jump over to the other side. Uh, interact with the button though here on the door to open it up. And we're going to, eventually. That happened a lot through the game. You literally, sometimes you just be spamming a wall. Like you're trying to finger a wall or something. I don't bloody off a little wall crack, I don't know. Anyway, so we've grabbed the minecart. Leave it just on the top of this big old hill bags right here. Ah, Jesus. I thought he was coming after me then. Interact with the leader here on the left to get the track nice and straight. And then give it the old big, big push of life. Oh, man, I still got to do the work. Jesus Christ. Yes, we still have to do the work. Push it down slightly, and then we're going to do a little bit more work, and that's just interacting with this next lever in front of us now. Turns the track, and now we can keep going on. There is going to be a section in just a mo where there are a couple of enemies that we have to get past. But don't worry, it's not too bad. Like I said, a lot of the sort of stealth sections and a lot of the enemies in this game are relatively, you know, but they're pretty much easy. You may just die... One, you know, you won't die an awful lot. So, what the easiest thing to do here is go to the side of the minecart and drag it. Rather than push it where I just was, you can make this, you can make this a lot easier just by dragging it to the side and they will never see you. <laughs> but stop at this ladder right here. And we're going to climb down. So yeah, that's just a needle. Because for some reason I was pushing it from the right hand side and trying to avoid... But obviously our character's so slow, it was starting to pee me off a little bit. So just drag the minecart from the side. Simples. Right, wait here until the lights go into the left. There we go. So now we can head up. Go to the right and interact with the lever. Don't worry, you will not be caught. But of course, you're just going to have to wait a second until both lights are looking in the opposite directions. So go on, get. Nobody likes you, light. Because you shoot people all the time. So climb back down the ladder. Head to the right, and of course, heading back up the next ladder. And of course, wait until this lighty boy is going to the right. Just so you can grab, remember to grab the minecart here from the side, so that you cannot be spotted. Even though they're looking at it and going, something's moving. Am I going freaking nuts? Or am I just a machine that's uh, trained to kill humans on sight for some particular reason? Whatever you do to you, douchebergs. So when we get to this point there now, we get behind these, uh, what are they, boxes or whatever the bloody hell they are. You can now just push the minecart down. And what that's going to do then is get this last enemy going straight after it. So it's another little bit of a stealth section in just a mo ticky mo. Right, so head to the left, he's going to start looking down. As soon as he looks to the left and looks away, we're going to go to the right-hand side and hide behind this bit of cover. <gasps> Scary. As soon as he looks away again, move to the left to see the lever that we're going to pull. So gra grab it, pull it down, right trigger, and that will harden him up. So, um, well, I bet his missus will be happy with that one. Okay, not 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 literally hardened, but there we go. So that's how you get past that bit. Little, you know, nice and easy. That's what we want. So a little bit of a just. This is just an elevator now. This isn't even a puzzle. You push the button, wait for the elevator, go in, push the next button. Top jobs. I I believe in you to push some buttons.
So then, this is just another little chase scene. But all you're going to be doing then is, again, do not stop for anything. Just keep going up. You're going to have to pull uh, the van door just to the right, just coming up in front of us. So, but just keep going. Don't worry about that. Grab this door, push it to the right, keep going straight, and we will be at the end. And wait for a little floaty little buy as we fall down some waterfalls, smash into a rock, and do all sorts of ouchy stuffs. Well, I mean, after, you know, breaking all our bones in our body and that, at least we can have a nice, gentle, relaxing soak. And, oh, our dog's there to greet us as well. Hello, garden. Anyway, all we're going to do for this bit, then, is literally walk up until we collapse and almost die again. Hooray! Oh, mate, 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 Jaden, I know that you're injured, okay? I know that you've, your spleen's been hanging out your butt the entire time, but, um, you know, a person with no legs kind of walks faster than you, and that's saying something, so, I, I don't know, maybe, devs, if you could just pop in a little jog button or something as a future update, that, <laughs> that would be kindly appreciated. But, of course, I, I understand what you're going for with the realism of being injured because aliens are visiting. But again, if aliens were visiting, realistically, we'd be crapping our pants and sprinting a lot faster. So, we are into the... This is like a storeroom, sort of, whatever it is. Bunch of injured people here, chilling out. And, you know, being injured and almost dying and stuff. So what we're going to do then is just uh, head up here and then head to the left. Oh, <laughs> get on your... <laughs> There's a priest with a child on its knees. What? Oh, let's not go there. I'm <laughs> just head to the left. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's awful. So, uh, what we're going to do then, we've co we're have we coming up now to basically the death area. Lots of candles for a lot of people who are sadly no longer with us. And that priest will be another one if he keeps getting women on their knees like that. Oh, I didn't mean like that, no. So, what we're going to do then, you can see on the left-hand side anyway, um, a little uh, shopping cart or whatever that is. So, what we're going to need to do is pull this out of the way. We're just coming up to the ninth collectible. And here it is in this box. So you can try and hit this box. It'll go to the right of you, hit it here, and then the uh, orb will unlock. Or the, the next collectible will unlock. Um, that orb, by the way, will just... Uh, that box will keep moving around. So if you do miss it, just keep trying to chase it until you hit it. And it's job done. 
Uh, for some reason, I'm having real trouble trying to get out of doors that you don't need help with, really. So, for a man who's extremely injured, we're doing quite well, actually, so far. But all we're going to do for the time being, for another minute or so, is just keep heading all the way to the right. No stopping, just keep on bopping. Little old Kayden. Oh, Kayden, I missed you so much. Where's your mother, Brayden? Brayden! Oh, Kayden! Oh, our family's back together at last. Oh, man, have I missed you. I got my intestines hanging out here, boy. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't particularly look at that, but... Hi, everyone. Let's go to the left. So this uh, next part is... It's, it's pretty much just like a scene. So what we're going to do is just head through... This big ice freezer dome, whatever it is, uh, coming up here on the, um, well, straight up. Um, kind of slow. I thought we could just keep going to the left, but apparently, oh no, she wants to have a look inside. So, we're going to have a look inside. It's just, it's all a time session anyway, so you've just got to wait around for a bit until your woman, until, until Brayden picks up okay then, and then we can come out. Didn't realize how, just how tall Jaden was until we had a child. You tall, lanky, slender man looking thing, you. So we're going to head out of here, and then we're going to go to the left to the next set of doors, and we're just going to uh, head through the supermarket part now. <coughs> So we're going to need, need to open up the doors then, so you have to do that yourself with your beloved darling wife who didn't leave your side, although actually, you left my side bro, what the hell? Uh, pick up the shelf, so again, even though we've got intestines and guts hanging out of us and stuff, we can't pick up a shelf even though we've been pushing minecarts with a bunch of ton of rocks in them. Okay, no problem. And 
And there we go then. I don't need bandages, don't need being stitched up, but I'll just have a cheeky little drink of this cough syrup or something. And we're good to go for the rest of the game. So, uh, interact with this shelf here, and then all we're going to do is basically keep going up and down, following the very linear path until we get to the end, where, again, it's just a little bit of a timed scene where we find a Fe Freddy the Fox light, and we can start making our way back outside into the danger zone! And what seems like forever, we can actually start moving now. So as soon as our wife and darling son moves forward, we can now press the left trigger, and they're going to be like, B R. What the hell, man? And he's going to be like, Hey, hey, I, I don't know. And for some reason, he comes with an accent now. So now we are outside. We're not quite into the danger zone just yet, but we are going to be coming up to the final collectible. So just for 30 seconds or so, just... Keep moving forward, getting rid of all the gloopy Augustus gloops. So, just as we pass the traffic light here, uh, the, the perspective's gonna change just before the police car, the very British police car, head to the right just before that police car, goop it up, interact here with the double doors to open them up, and this is where the final achievement, the final collectible is, and the achievement final contact will unlock eventually. First contact, of course, not final contact, is which is I just got wrong. So, after we get the first contact achievement, the beautifulness of the rare achievement unlocks. Head towards the bus, and we're just going to get rid of the Augustus gloops right here. So there'll be some literally all over the bus, so you need to get rid of them. But apparently, you have to wait for the slow pokes and slow kings. Although, I suppose they're only just now seeing a bunch of like alien robot orbs and stuff, aren't they? So, a bit of a thrill for them, or at least Braden, anyway. And Garden. Where's Garden gone now? Damn dog. Come back to me. So what we're going to do is just interact with the lever about f four or five times until we can just uh, walk through the wheel arch on the back of the bus. Hello, here I am, Uncle Mo! So, heading onto the bus then. <laughs> this will be a treat while you eat Uncle Mo's! Oh, your teeth hurt. Your teeth hurt? Well, that's too freaking bad! And I can tell you I can shove your stinking sody too. Right, so, uh, after interacting with the hatch then, our family gets on the bus. We can now drop down and out of the bus. Although, apparently, I'm having trouble doing that. Oh, there's Garden. I thought he disappeared or something. Um. Now, the obvious thing is to go forward into the pit, but we're not going to do that. We're heading to the right, interacting and getting rid of this shelf. Get rid of the shelf guts, baby. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. That was holding that car there, but I suppose the owners are not really around right now. So, interact with that then, and then we are going to harden up the way so we can clamber over. So, climb over the way. There we go. Oh, well. 
All right, fine. You, you, you two just run off then. Right then, we've got to take a specific path in this store as to avoid to not get caught, not get shot square in the nip-nips, and die. So stay here for just a moment, of course, because you get caught. After this part is going to be another chasing, by the way. So what we need to do is head forward and then to the left, go through these stacks of clothes, so these rail clothes railings right here. There's basically glass all around, so if you tiptoe on the glass, you'll get caught. Head to the left and then around. Make sure to not knock these mannequins over either. Knocking one will have us dead. As soon as, we, as soon as we're good, we're going to open up these doors, and then the chase scene is going to begin, and there's going to be a lot of these dog things. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Jesus Christ. I'm fair play to Jaden. She's carrying her okay, and she's running faster than us. So obviously, just don't stop for anything then. Keep heading forward. Try not to get distracted. And then what we're going to do, we are going to turn to the left here. Come on, Jaden and o Braden and OK, then. Come on. So to the left. Up the steps. And then when we get here, what we're going to do is grab this little book cart, pull it quite a far bit left, sort of to the plant pot here, push it forward, smash it open, drop down. We're still being chased, so no time to rest for the wicked. So just keep heading straight. And we're basically going to come up to a set of church gates right now. Oh, help me, Jeebus! as soon as our hero, again, who's come from nowhere, where the hell have you been, by the way, uh, just go to the left, and then immediately when we're into the Jeebus' church, of Jeebus-icity, um, we're going to immediately try and open up the pathway by slamming this bookshelf up, which we're going to do. Oops, well, she did. Keep climbing up the spiral staircase. Don't stop for nothing. Don't stop for nothing but no peanuts. And then, of course, when we get to the ladder here, make sure to press the A button to obviously start climbing it. For some reason, that takes me a few seconds to realize. Press the A button, keep climbing up, keep climbing up. And then we're going to get to the top, where this is pretty much more of a scene now, more of a cutscene. So, you're going to head to the right and then head to the left a little bit until the high... Well, you'll see.
yes, that was, I was going to say heartbreak. Because, brah! You, you left the bloody thing. Yeah, all right, you got shot, but couldn't you literally just chuck the ladder out or something? Chuck the rope. Come on, you lot come in with us too. Um, yeah, disappointment on so many levels right now. And you know I've got a family as well, so that, so that like, cut deep a little bit more, to be honest. Le cry sad noises. So after the traumatizing moment of losing our family, apparently, and the heartbreak, we've got to, we're going to be subjected to a couple of tests right now. So head to the right again. We've still got our intestines hanging out of our nostrils, apparently. Uh, head to the right. All we're going to do is just flick these red switches to green. So just interact with each one. Next, with the pole on the left, just press the A button and then the left trigger to open it up and then go to the right to interact with the next pole. And then finally, with this one, what you're supposed to do is press the left trigger to get rid of the wall and then press the right trigger in order to harden the ground. But you've got to get rid of the wall on the left hand side completely first, like so, and then go ahead, press and hold the right trigger, pop it off, and that should harden the ground, eventually, there it is, and then this is how we end, and then what's going to happen is, a couple of pods are going to appear, the old sneaky ninja warrior woman's going to appear, and we're going to go in the left hand side pod, so, left it up. So there's only one thing to do here, but it does take around literally around three minutes. So what you're going to see is some things, up, some balls appear on the left. So you're supposed to hit the left trigger until those balls go into the right hand side. So here we go then, left trigger. So you're going to hold that until it goes in the right hand side, as you can see. Then you're going to press the right trigger 
And then when those that ball goes into the middle, you're going to press the left trigger and right trigger together. So LT and RT at the same time now. And then you're just going to keep repeating that for a good couple of minutes. And it's just going to get faster and faster and faster. So just press the left trigger, then the right trigger, then LT and RT together. Just keep going, basically, until the scene ends. But like I said, it does take a few minutes. So watch them balls. Jesus Christ, that took its time, didn't it? Bloody Nora. So this is kind of like a tale of two halves for the game, where there was a lot of sort of, a lot more enemies and sneaking about in the first half. Uh, now this next half, well, I said this next half, we're way more than halfway in the game. But for these last sort of half an hour or so, it's going to be a lot of walking. It's going to be a lot of walking. Um, so you're not going to hear me much for the last half an hour, which oh, I know you're so disappointed with. But we're all back home, apparently, all safe and sound, nothing happened. So, yeah, it was all just, it was all just a dream, oh, thank God. So, head back into the basement anyway, all the way down. Go ahead, grab the dog food and bring it back up with your little meaty bone arms. Man, again, head all the way outside until you hear the bangs and go join your family. <gasps> Well, those fireworks were good. What the, the hell's everyone gone? 
Oh, Jesus Christ, I've left him alone again. All right, we left him at the top of a church to get um, absolutely positively eaten by weird ro robot alien dog things. So anyway, heading back into the basement, interact with dead alien woman who apparently is still here. What the shit's going on? So this is where we're going to start getting a lot of walking in. Now, if you think you were knackered before, it's going to get extra knackering now. So, head to the right, and we're basically back in our basement. So you need to uh, get rid of, obviously, this piece of wood. Use the lamp again, hold the lamp, and, of course, press the left trigger to expose the way. But this time, we're not going back up the staircase. Oh, no, no. What we're going to be doing for the next lot of 20 minutes or so is just walking forward. Literally walking forward. And again, a lot of the time we'll be pressing the left trigger as well, by the way, to get rid of the gloop. But for now, it's a walking forward. Now this part will probably be familiar to you, uh, we've had to go through this, it kind of, we're kind of going back through the levels, sort of, uh, just to find the two, the one that was dead and the one that's alive, the Enclave soldier and the other chick, yeah, so just keep swimming, remember to get the air pocket when you see it, and then keep on swimming to the left. Again, that's our breathing noise when we come out of water. Oh! A dying moose, dying seal noise. So we're going to um, save the Enclave Soldier again. Pull his hand and he dies again. So then, this is the start where we're going to get the the first of five endings, and it's going to be called Resignation. So, as we grab the flare right there, keep heading, just keep heading straight. Uh, just press the left trigger, keep heading straight for the time being, I'll let you know when we're going to come up to it.
Now, even though it seems like he's just going slow, I did. I was going a little bit. I was going a little bit slower, just in case that we were gonna. I thought that the settee was a little bit closer, but it's not. So the settee, which has our family on it, is right in front of us now. So from now, do not press the left trigger at all. Keep your finger off the left trigger. Again, if you end up missing this achievement, just go ahead and reload last checkpoint, or uh, you can press chat to select and go again. But don't press the left trigger here. Just walk up to the settee. We'll sit down, drop the flare, and just wait for the scene to play out. And that is the... Did I call it resignation? No, what I meant to say was... Um, resignation. It was resignation. Ah! Hello, job. I resignation you. Right, so we start immediately, basically, back at the point just before we got with the whole seti thing. So again, it's a case of picking up the flare and just keep walking forward. And of course, this time we're going to walk past the seti whilst holding the left trigger because we ain't going to fall for that. No way, we ain't. So, not a lot to do here. All you got to do is stick your fist in, press the left trigger to open it up, and uh, just basically wait until the scene plays out. That's all you got to do. Uh, now, as you can see the orb actually on the screen, you're going to need then to press the right trigger. Later on, anyway, for these ones, you'll uh, eventually have to press the right trigger and left trigger in order to get the orb up. But for now, for these ones, you can just press the left trigger, stick your fist in, and, uh, well, have a good time. What's this? I hear a bit of fisting. Ow! Swim to the right. Please, I'm insisting on a fisting. So head to the right again. We've got our kid who is... Well, <laughs> well I mean... Technically, he's not here right now. Neither has a wife, so we can press the left trigger. He's he's going to leave Freddy Fox for us, so we're going to pick that up. 
Uh, press the left trigger to keep going. Now there's going to be a bunch of cars that are going to appear on the road. What you need to do is press the right trigger as they come towards you in order to stop the cars dead in its tracks. So when it's come in, when the cars come in, press the right trigger, stop the cars now. Oh, we'll stop one of them. There we go. And then the rest will crash behind them and you can safely make your way through the next passage. There's going to be three lanes of cars now. So you should be able to, if you just keep going, you should be able to make it to the third one. Um, but again, it's just the same thing. Press and hold the right trigger. As soon as one comes towards you, just uh, stop them dead in its tracks. And then you can just press the left trigger. You've got to go come to the front of the track here, by the way, in order to proceed. Otherwise, you're just going to be like me, be a bit of an idiot, and not able to proceed anyway. Oh, hello, there I am. There I am. Here I am. And there's going to be a runaway truck that's going to start sliding as well. So it'll be the same thing. Uh, let him get slightly close. Hold the right trigger, and then as soon as he's close, leave it go so it hardens up the truck. Ah, yeah. Oh, there we go. That is a hell of a power to have, by the way. And then we could just go forward, pressing the left trigger, and going forward into the truck. Wow. So, same thing here, man. Uh, interact with the light. Press the left trigger until it all starts, you know, kicking off and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I believe this is the part then. If you see the orb, I start seeing the orb on screen. You have to press the left trigger here. And then sometimes you'll ha end up having to press the right trigger as well. It's, um, it, it's kind of an awkward one to explain, but you'll just be able to tell from things going on in screen. So if nothing's happening, so for now, the light's on, so what we're going to do is now press the left trigger. And then I think we're going to ha end up having to press the right trigger. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's a bit, bit of an awkward one, but, you know, it's it's all good. Um, and it wasn't even this bit, it's going to be coming up to the next part, where we're going to, where it gets, you know, I say it's awkward, but it's not that awkward. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Uh, so anyway, I'm going to shut up for a minute as we continue once again, swimming to the right.
So now, me hearties. This, I still got Return to Monkey Island in my head, by the way. Arr. So this is the part now where we've got to, you know, do a bit of, yeah, a bit of tacticalness. So what we're going to do then, we press the left trigger first, and then that reveals the orb. When you see the orb again, press and hold the left trigger and right trigger together, and that'll sort of start floating the orb up. Looks like an Assassin's Creed symbol there, almost. Right, so on to the next one then. We're going to open it up, and we're going to be pressing the right trigger this time. And the orb's already coming up there, so, um, yeah. So, so I, again, I believe this is just pressing the left trigger. It was a, yeah, a bit of an awkward one. I, I ended up just spamming the buttons for some reason. And then we've just got one more to do. And then it is the end, and grabbing the final four endings and four achievements. So this one, no offense, it's kind of funny this one. So he's going to be going through these red lights. What you need to do is pre just hold the right trigger and then um, hold the right trigger and then let it go when he goes past one of these red lights. That's going to harden up the ground. That's going to get him spinning straight off his bike. No offense, it's always funny when kids fall. All right, that was a, that was a bit harsh actually. That uh, that looked like a bit of a nasty fall. So that's harsh. He pressed the left trigger in order to get this uh, firestorm going. As you can see, bit of blue and red, I'm just spamming both in all fairness. Orb's gonna appear, left trigger, right trigger together, that ends this. Oh, woohoo! Coming up to the end, this is the final licity of the chapterosity. And the first achievement that we're going to get then is called War of the Worlds. Now, basically, it's kind of like a Simon Says puzzle, okay? You're going to get three big alien dudes just, you know, casting their eye down upon us. One's blue, one's purple, one's red. Now, of course, as you know throughout the game, left trigger is blue, right trigger is red. The purple means left trigger and right trigger together. So, as you can see as well, there's a whole bunch of people in a big, massive ring all around. So, what you need to do then is press the A button when you're next to these people to hold hands. And then, we can start inputting different Simon Says codes. So, for now, we're just um, pressing and holding A to hold hands. And then, pressing and holding both left trigger and right trigger together. That will basically get the completely bad ending. War of the Worlds. I assume everyone dies because there's no way they're winning against these broski broskies. 
But what I'm going to do for the next couple, or well, in fact, for the rest of the endings, I'm going to put the solutions on the screen to make it a lot easier for you. Because, of course, what they want you to do is follow along with what they say. But as the achievement unlocks, you can go ahead and just restart the checkpoint, and you'll restart immediately um, next to the ring of people. So, for this next one, as you can see, we all immediately start here. So press the A button again, of course. BRB is obviously blue or red. Remember, left trigger is blue, right trigger is red. So first of all, now what you have to do is hold it until it goes all the way around the ring of people as well. So if you press the left trigger to do blue, you need to wait until it goes all the way around like that. There it is. Then red, then blue. Basically, just, just hold on to it for about two seconds until you hear the noise. So the first one is going to be blue, red, blue, and then the three are going to be blue, blue, red. So you are copying exactly what they are doing. Um, but again, if you have any issues or anything, just, just look at the solution on screen there. So blue, blue, red. And after we've done that, then, this little house should appear. So what we're going to do is walk towards the house, go inside, and that one is going to be the resigna Resignation Reprise. Um, I was going to say offer, but it's called an achievement. It's late here, and my brain is on the shutdown. <laughs> And again then, when the achievement unlocks, we can restart from checkpoint again and start again. This time we're going for the family first achievement, which basically you sacrifice, you sacrifice yourself, but your family can live. That's nice. So, again, don't bother following um, the Simon Says Broski robot on screen. Just have a look at the... Uh, remember to hold the hands, of course, as well. But obviously just keep having a look at these solutions. The first one is going to be blue, red, blue. Blue, blue, red, which are the same as the uh, robot broskies, but then we're just going to go blue, blue, blue. Okay, so just follow the solutions on screen, and you'll be fine, just fine, fine. So what should happen then is this orb will appear. So we need to walk forward into the orb. We're going to press the left trigger for this first one, for the blue one. So a left trigger about a thing. Because every little thing... Oh, in fact, you need to hold on to it first and then press the left trigger. It's going to be all right. Except we die. Our family lives. That's oh, a hard choice, isn't it? So now what we're going to do with the red one. So eventually when it appears and we get up and our spleen has stopped falling out of our mouth hole, hold it, press the right trigger there to, you know, get your arm bitten off as well. And then for the final one, there's going to be a purple one, which again, you just need to hold both the left trigger and the right trigger to get uh, to end this and get the family first achievement.
Yeah! I mean, you already left us for dead once, so, you know, you're pretty fine without me. Right, one more left to get. Restart from the checkpoint again, and this is by far the sort of most awkwardly complicated. Um, there's quite a bit more going into this. And I've got to say a big massive shout out to everyone in True Achievements who actually figured out these endings. Um, to figure it out the first time, unbelievable. There is an actual way to do it, um, but, you know, I'll, I'll leave that for another video, I think. So, as you can see then, BRB, we've got P as well, which is purple, which remember for purple, you have to hold the left trigger and right trigger as well. So for the next one, we, again, ignore the Simon Says dudes. We go in blue, 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 purple, purple, purple for the next one. And then just follow everything on screen and you should be golden as nuggeties. I mean, that was a bit of a long one, but it is done. And this should now get you the understanding achievement, which um, basically everything's all good. The aliens piss off. We're all good with our family. and We go back to absolute normal, which I don't know how we're going to get back to normal. But I've got to be honest, I, I'm i such a sucker and I much, much prefer endings like this, or at least that it gives us the choice to get this ending. Do you know what I mean? So I like that there's a couple of endings to get. And I always like that there is one where everything goes back to normal, none of our family dies, and we're all happy. Isn't that what we want in life? Instead of arguing on Twitter about what's better. Oh, Xbox is better. Oh, PlayStation's better. No, no, no. Just, just chill out. Ch chill out, toxic Twitter arties. Uh, no, I'm just, I, I, just, everything's good. So, that is the end of it then. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. We should now have your 11 out of 11. Oh. I'm in a bit of a spasm thing. I'm not surprised, mind this crap we've gone through in this game. So there we go. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Ta-da! A big shout-out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. Such legends. And, well, that's it. So, another Game Pass game done and dusted. I'll see you in the next one. Ba-ba-ba-be-hig-la- have.